We've been following the saga over spring sports at U of M Dearborn. The school planned to cancel the season because of COVID concerns, and then they reversed that decision. Seemed like things were settled until 20 members of the softball team got word they were being suspended for holding a practice. Jason Colthorpe live on campus tonight where there is uh, more to the story, Jason. Oh yeah, Devin. Well, that practice was in Troy. It was at a church gymnasium. The team was invited. Uh, some wore masks, some didn't, but they said they social distance. Well, the university found out, decided it was a violation, and the original original punishment was no practice for three weeks. But that changed, and a lot of parents think it had something to do with what happened at last week's Board of Regents meeting. Watch. Chancellor Grasso and whoever else concedes to him is responsible for all of these college careers that have been ruined. That was U of M Dearborn softball team captain Madeline Skeen voicing frustration at the university's canceling of sports at last Thursday's Board of Regents meeting. The next day, the athletic department decided to go ahead with the spring season, but it also changed the softball team's previous punishment of a three week pause on practices to two game suspensions for 20 players. You fight to get the season back. Madeline said what she said based on the information that she had gathered. This absolutely feels like retaliation against a young student athlete who called them on the carpet and they didn't like it. Her father, Doug, feels this type of first time infraction should have merited a warning, not mass suspensions. I couldn't understand how a group of girls, a dozen girls gather at a church to work on some drills, and yet that wasn't allowed. And, and not, not only was it not allowed, now it's being recognized and punished. In a statement, UM Dearborn believes it struck the right balance of sanctions for not following athletic department rules and MDHHS and church guidelines, while still allowing the team to compete by staggering the suspensions. They changed the punishment. They made it more severe. And I don't care what they tell me until they can show me some proof of something, something of some kind, I'm going to believe that this is absolutely retribution. Can we just get these kids back on the field so they can play softball? The added layer to this, by the way, that parents say can't help lead them to think that this has something to do with retaliation is the fact that the athletic director called Madeline Skeen after that Board of Regents meeting last week and admonished her for her comments. Now, the university won't acknowledge that, but they say no one player was singled out, and that's evidenced by the fact that 20 were suspended. We're at U of M Dearborn tonight. Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4.